So what's the big deal with overlanding, off-roading, and 4x4 vehicles? Why do I love the Jeep Cherokee XJ so much that I have one in the States and one in the UK? I think for me it comes down to the adventure and its capabilities. And old vehicles are easier to work on, which is great because this 1997 Jeep Cherokee, limited may I add, so fancy, needs some TLC since this lift has made quite a few rattles. The goal is to fix the wheel bearings ourselves since there's no way we can afford the garage costs. We run into some trouble in a day so we can make the five hour drive to Southern Wales and finally fulfill my pretty recent dream of driving directly on the beach. Not to mention, it will also be my first time sleeping inside of Tanku, this Jeep. The problem is the back windows are not tinted at all. We don't have a lot of time, so hopefully this repair goes without a hitch. And is it even possible to drive on the beach this time of year? I don't actually know. <laughs> Come with me and we'll find out together. Do I get in the parking garage? We don't want to be here too long because I don't think you're actually allowed to do this in parking garages, but this is our garage now. This is our garage. It's a big, big thing. We don't have an actual garage to work on it, so it's kind of funny. What are they gonna do? Make us leave? <laughs> we can't, we are, our tire is off. Victoria's parking garage, garage. Setting this one all, we did the other one, so I observed. We're gonna do this one now and try to do it myself. May I first wheel bearing replacement. Before we get too far in today's video, I want to present our sponsor, which makes these types of videos possible. So thank you for your patience. I wanted to present today's sponsorship for any of my followers who are trying to change their habits. You know, you don't always have to go cold turkey. There are other ways. I've read books about habits and things like that. And to change a habit, sometimes you have to replace it with a different habit. And fume does just that. Instead of electronic, fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses air, and instead of chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. This is what it looks like, and your Fume comes with adjustable air flows, and it makes it really fun. It's with magnets, and it makes it very fun for fidgeting. So I've never tried anything like this before. It was very interesting to me because I don't inhale anything. It's flavored air, and you can start with it wide open, which is a lot more flavor, or you can start closing it once you get, you know, weaned off. And it tastes so good. It has a really nice feel to it. It's weighted. But I think this is a more enjoyable alternative to just cold turkey stopping. Stopping something is hard, but switching to Fume can be enjoyable. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has so many success stories. Start getting rid of destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. You can head over to tryfume.com. The Fume Solano is launched on November 6th. You can upgrade your journey pack to Solano and get the premium walnut barrel and still get 10% off. So you guys can try Fume. You can use my code Victoria Rose to get 10% off. A big shout out to Fume for sponsoring this video. All right, now let's get back into the video. So we're trying to get this done as quick as possible, as cheap as possible, before we go to Wales, because we need new bearings for Wales. And that's what we're doing right now. Oh God. Ah! Oh. Ow. Oh. Yes. run into some trouble, which I thought we might have. The other one we got replaced, but this one, this side I think is the one with the bad wheel bearing. So it's really, really rusted and we cannot get the bolts off. And we're kind of stripping out the bolt. So this could be bad because we have no way of getting out of here if we can't put the tire back on, can't get these things off. I mean, we could if we gave up and put everything back, but bad news is we cannot get those those bolts off so now we have to take the whole thing down put the stuff back on go to the parts store and get a, a bar so we can have more leverage that's the, really the only thing 
and I, I thought we might have this trouble. This is what I was worried about, like it being overrested. The other side was fine. We're supposed to leave to Wales tomorrow, but we need to get an alignment in the morning, so. <laughs> Good news, we got them off. We had to get, we had to get some more of these thingies, so we had to put everything back on and go to the auto, auto parts store, but we got them off, which I'm very grateful for, so we had to do this all again. We got the new wheel bearing on, and now I just need to tighten things up, but we're getting there. We are in England, we are driving to Wales. This is my first time in Wales, and I'm going to be driving on the highway for the first time. It's on the opposite side, like whenever you're in the slow lane, you have to, it's on the left rather than the right, yeah. We fixed the wheel bearings ourselves, fixed. and then we got alignment this morning, and now we're just driving to Wales. The plan here is, what we want to do is drive on the beaches in Wales, do like start the little overlanding thing, and I've never gotten a drive on a beach before, so I think that that is my primary goal in this. And we're not gonna get good sleep, but I have a vision. <laughs> Let's go, it's cold. Here we go. All right. Here we go, we're gonna be going fast. Highway back home in the states, it's just mindless driving, like highway driving. I prefer it. Here, you still have to pay close attention. That was easier for me than when I was driving in like the small towns with like the really skinny roads. I don't know if I ever get used to driving on that side of the car and that side of the road. Uh, it's going to be nighttime soon, and we have to kind of convert the whole back into a sleeping area and find a place to sleep for the night. <laughs> close to getting there, it's taking forever. I do some stretching. Boy, we're in Wales, we've been in Wales for a while now, and we're just trying to find a uh, place to sleep for the night, or sleep, but who knows if that's actually gonna happen. It's been raining a lot. Tanku's been a boss, nothing bad has happened. Great on the highway. These Jeeps are reliable. The problem is the back windows are not tinted at all, so this is gonna be very vulnerable to sleep like this. We made it to our camp spot and it is cold and very windy because we're by the water again. But we, we have it set up back here to where it's quite cozy and comfy. I want to hang up some lights around here. Here's another thing I got off my wish list. It's a little camping set. I mean, I won't really need to use this on this time around, but it just has some of the essentials and then it has- I, I lost the fork already. It's down in the seat somewhere. That thing like eats things up, the seats under here. It's a much different experience doing this in the cold, but it's still like, you know, it's kind of cozy and nice. So I got these tiny little string lights that are really cheap and we're just, I'm just gonna try and string them up kind of aesthetically around here. See if that works. We're gonna make some, maybe some ramen before bed. I, I boiled some eggs to bring. You know, we're keeping it simple with food. We're just doing this as simple as possible. You can do this on an extreme budget. You know, people live in their cars and sleep in their cars all the time. You don't need a bunch of fancy things. Now I do have, I have a battery pack I also got off my wish list right here. So I can charge my phone and it has a charging for other stuff and then it has a phone charger. So that is good until I can, you know, sort out a power bank situation. Okay, so we got them up. Yeah, these work pretty well. They're like four pounds. They're like little copper things. And zip tied it in the battery pack right here. We got a first aid kit, because that's necessary. Um, 
I gotta lay right here too. Nice. This is so cozy and fun. It's a cold outside and it'll definitely start raining again soon. So we have to like be quick, but we're gonna, we're gonna try this jet boiler. Jet boiler, the gas. It's very nice to have like hot water. Okay, so I am cozied up in here and it's actually spacious enough diagonally. So I think I'll be able to sleep pretty well. Tomorrow we're gonna actually explore whales in the daytime. okay actually better than I thought I would it worked for the temporary solution so be encouraged if you want to do go and do overlanding things and you want to sit in your vehicle you can so I found this um, it's a lot different in the UK finding free parking places that you can park overnight and it's the same in Europe too there's just not as much as in the US but we found this place right beside the beach and our main objective for being here is to drive on the beach which is gonna actually be a lot harder than we thought because this area has a lot of restriction zones and they do like military stuff on the beaches and stuff. So it's restricted in that way. And then with the tide and it's off season and it's during the week. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get on the beach. This is why we came here. I'm really hoping that we can. I really wanted to just drive on that beach. And Wales is the only place like we could do that. Can't do that in England. actually insane. It feels like we're directly on someone's property, but I think it's abandoned. But apparently this is a road though. So we're in southern Wales and the only beach I found online that we could actually drive on was the Pendine Beach, but the entire beach was restricted because of the MOD. You're in the way! Thank you. And we couldn't access it anywhere. We drove down tons of different back roads trying to find somewhere we could access the beach to no avail. This is proving a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Lots of exploring around, trying to find a beach we can drive on. We couldn't actually get on the beach because of the MOD. Pretty much owned the whole Pen Dime beach over that way, but we found this other beach because we we're going on this random road and this farmer came up to us and was like, can't really be on this road, but he was so nice. And so he directed us to this beach and we were able to actually drive on it. And I'm going to drive on the beach for the very first time. And I'm so excited. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but, and the sun came out and nobody else is here, and we're gonna do a little driving on the beach. Okay, so here we go. We did not take any air out of the tires yet. If we 
need to, we will, but we're just going to drive it as is for now because we don't have like an immediate way to refill them, which we're not that prepared. Are we ready? sluggish when you're driving on sand. at this that is huge look how big this oi that's a big one <laughs> look how big this is in comparison to me whoa you can like see through it it's massive so apparently this is uh the batman cave waterfall they used one of the batman movies so i'm not sure if that's accurate or not but it's kind of random nobody else is here massive waterfall random Welsh, Welsh Rush, uh, cafe and we got the most Welsh thing we could which was rare bit which is apparently um, cheese bread so this is a uh, Welsh rare bit and it's basically cheese toast but with ale in it but look at look let me try it taste it's cheese sauce on bread Is this too high for you, or are you okay just to pop up? Let's shuffle all the way down. You could be a tattoo artist. We, we solved the world's problem. We also so. did do that. <laughs> got a lot done, we got a lot accomplished tonight. <laughs> <laughs> to end this video, I went and got my tattoo even though we were only in Wales a very short time, but because I go to, when I go to every country, I like to get a tattoo from that country. I'm like, I have to do this. I planned one real quick and got it at High Water Gallery in Swansea. Highly recommend, great, great owner. Very happy. Um, but before I completely end this video, I'm gonna try this, which is a Welsh cake. And I heard that these are very Welsh. I don't know what to expect. I can't really tell you much about them. Wales, I had a great time. Like we got a lot done today. I'm so happy. I'm so pleased that we'll be able to drive on the beach. I'm happy that I got a little bit of sleep, I'm sleeping in the back. Nothing went wrong with the Jeep. I can't even talk. Nothing went wrong with the Jeep. It's like little pancakes. So these ones are current and sultanas, whatever that means. It's good. It's like, it's not like a pancake. It's yummy. I don't really know how to describe it. Kind of like a mix between a cookie and cake. Anyways, thank you so much for coming along in this adventure with me. We have to drive back to England now. It, it was actually sunny today. What? In Wales? So I'm very, very happy. I'm very pleased. This is our first overlanding trip with this Jeep. And it did great. It's extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Please stay tuned.